Hello, YouTube. Thought I'd do another video here. Well, I have this set up. I've had a few people email me um, asking me, how do I get a GMRS or any repeater online that doesn't have a data port? Or it has a data port and I don't know enough technical stuff to hook this up. How can I get my repeater hooked to a computer online or not online? How do I get it hooked to a computer? So I thought this is a good time to do this video since I already have all the gear set up here to, to shoot this video. So we're going to kind of talk about how to do that. And like I said, this will work with any repeater. I don't care if it's 20 years old. It could be 30 years old, an old Motorola. We can get that repeater online. Or if you don't want it online, you just want to hook to a computer so you can run the time software. This will work. The key is this handheld has to be programmed to that repeater frequency. So as long as you can get a handheld programmed to that frequency and you can hook up the handheld the way I'm going to show you, you can get any repeater online. You can put this set up in the same room as the repeater. Or for that matter, if the repeater is five miles away, you can still do this and have that repeater be online or just hook to a computer in general. And, of course, if you do that five miles away, then I would recommend you unscrew this antenna and hook this up to a coax and have the antenna outside. But in my case, I have the repeater behind me in the other room behind me. So I don't need an outside antenna. I have this on low power. I'm using the, the rubber duck antenna. Um, for my case, the repeater I have this hooked up to is the Redivus RT97 that does not have the data port on it so as long as you can get the handheld it can be any handheld it can be any brand as long as that handheld has jacks for a microphone and speaker out and it has a vox setting in the menu so it can be any handheld it can be a cheap one it can be an expensive one it could be any frequency that you're permitted to use of course as long as the handheld being hooked to the computer it can receive and transmit on that repeater frequency this will work with any repeater gmrs or not any repeater so let's get started we'll talk about the setup it's real simple to do okay like i said you're gonna need a handheld that's got a vox setting you need the vox turned on you need a vox sensitivity as sensitive as possible you have to check the menu in this case i'm using a cheap UV5R a ball fang radio. It's programmed to my repeater frequency that's behind me. You turn the volume all the way up. Since the repeater's behind me, I don't need an external antenna. Now, this for this video, I just have a battery in this handheld. But if you're gonna do this as a permanent setup, then I would suggest um, you get a battery eliminator. Like this is a battery eliminator. You plug this in to a power supply, and then the power supply converts the AC to 12 volts DC, and that can run the handheld using a battery eliminator without um, having the battery, uh, using the battery, okay? So now, once you have your handheld, and now you're gonna need cables, I'll post a link to all this in the description below. This particular handheld, you gotta check your radio, of course, it's going to use a 3.5 millimeter plugs and a 2.5 millimeter plugs. Now, you're going to need an ice uh, ground loop isolator block. I'll post a link to that too. If you don't do that and you plug the cables into the computer directly, it's going to key up the radio and it's going to stay keyed up forever. It's like you pushing the transmit button. So you need the ground loop isolator block. Again, I'll post a link down below. Okay. Now, the beauty of this is you can use a desktop, you can use a laptop, you can use an old computer, you can use a new computer, it does not matter. If you want internet, if you don't want internet, it depends on what you want to do. If you want internet, then obviously you're going to need uh, internet access from the computer, whether it's a hotspot, whether you're plugged into the internet directly, like I do here, I use a CAD5 cable for my internet, but I don't need internet to run some of the software, but I do like internet. So if I want to run Zello, if I want to put my repeater on Zello channel, I have internet connection. Obviously for Zello, you need internet connection. But to run the date and time, 
you don't need um, internet connection. Um, so in my case here, I use a USB sound dongle because my sound card and my jack on my computer is not very good. So I bought an $8 sound card. Uh, I'll post a link to that. Now, if you want to use your jack that's on your computer, you sure can. If your computer only has one jack, like this one does over here, you're going to need a special adapter. This is an adapter. This is not a splitter. Okay. So this can, adapter goes from one plug to speaker out and, and microphone in. You're going to need this adapter if your computer only has one jack. If your computer has two jacks, one for microphone, one for speaker out, then you do not need any adapter. Now, how do I have this hooked up? Okay. Well, let's get a little closer view here. Let's, I have the speaker out, goes to the microphone in on the handheld, and then the speaker out on the handheld goes into the microphone input of the USB sound card. How do I have my isolation block hooked up? I have it hooked up to the speaker out of the USB sound card and that plugs in you see how i do that that's how i have that hooked up okay um now for the software obviously if you have this hooked up to the repeater you do not need to run the simplex software i run it because it records my voice and i can test my repeater without having a second person around but you do not need to run this okay that's the only reason why I run the Simplex repeater software. Now, if you just want to do the date and time, you can just run that by itself. But let's talk about the sound settings here so that we all, you know, so you all know what to do. Now, since I'm using the USB sound card, I got to make sure I select that down here in my menu. Okay. Now, in my case, it's it, it, they call it a 10 USB audio device. So I got to make sure that's selected. If I select anything else, it will not work. I have one here that says speaker headphone. That's the jack that's built in, which does not work very well. The other one I have, the nine USB, that's to a plug-in USB mic set that I use to make videos. Uh, if I use this computer for, for making videos for, for YouTube. But in my case, I want the usb sound card so i need to make sure it's on 10 okay usb 10 for my case had the volume about halfway again you can adjust this volume or the volume on the handheld if you sound distorted you can tweak you can tweak it later okay we just want to get it up and running you can always do fine tweak fine tune it later okay so now i'm gonna turn this off since i'm using the sound card i'm not using no com ports we got to go to configuration we hit sound card. I prefer to let Windows choose my sound card. Now, that's what I recommend you do. But if you know exactly what sound card you're going to use, you can have the you can select this and have it then select the sound card. But I just do it let Windows choose my sound card. Um in this case since uh, I want to use Simplex to record my voice, I make sure I go to mode and I make sure it's on Simplex and I select immediately replay. Okay? So now I have that set. Now this is right here. This is how it should look like over here. If you want to record your voice to play it back through the repeater. If you don't need to do that, then you do not need this software. Okay. So let's go ahead and test it here. I got a handheld program to my repeater frequency. Radio check. One, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. Okay, there you go. And you can tell, listen, you hear the squelch tail? That's telling you I'm going through my repeater. My repeater's online. My repeater right now is hooked up to my computer. That simple. No, I don't need fancy adapters. I don't need to build a circuit. This, this, is, this way is the easiest way to get a repeater online or hooked up to a laptop. It could be a 20-year-old repeater, 30-year-old repeater. As long as you know the frequencies you program that handheld to. Now, so let's say 
let's go ahead and clear this. And let's say um, I want to run the time. Now, in my case, since I like to record my voice to test my repeater, I can leave this up and I can have the time running in the background. So let's go ahead and talk about this time. Real simple. You select how you want it to say the, the date and time, what format. And then again, since we're using the sound card, we can select, again, we let Windows to the sound card. So that's what we're going to do. Um, now if I hit, now I know i got to set here. You can tell it how, I think you can go up to a 30 minutes, I believe, is the highest this goes. I have it five minutes. That's kind of excessive, but that's what I have for testing purposes. But I can hit play now, and it should play over my radio right here through my repeater. February 2023, time is 2.54 p.m. There's the squelch tail. So, well, five minutes must be up. That's why it's playing twice. The five-minute timer must be kicking in, too. But that's how you do the time. If you don't want the um, repeater... Uh, software to record your voice and play it back. You can just do the time. Now, if you have internet access, you can have it do the weather too on this on this software. I already did a video on that, so I'm not going to go into detail with that video. You can check my, my videos, and you can see how you can do the time, or the weather, I meant. But to do the weather, that way I have in that video, you're going to need internet access. So, if you don't want internet access, then you don't, you know, then you can't do the weather the way that I've done it. Um, if you want to run Zello, any other uh, software, then you're going to need internet access. But if you're not planning on running Zello, you don't want Zello, you don't want internet, you just want the time, maybe you got another program uh, you want to run, whatever that may be, you can do it this way and it will run just fine. So, like I said, this will work with any repeater as long as you know the frequency of that repeater and you're able to connect to it. Um, it's ripple to do, and you can run, you know, old laptop, new laptop, whichever way you do that. Yes, I know some of the repeaters do have a DB9 connector. I will hopefully be doing a video on that if some of you want to do a direct connection and not run all this. So I will be hopefully doing a video on how to do that. But for the time being, if you do not have that, uh, DB9 connector on your repeater or you're not technical enough to do it this is an easy way to get this thing hooked up now if you're having problems with sound let's say you do all this and you're having problems and you're like man I have it set right down here I have it right down here I have everything set right but my sound still ain't working then I suggest go into your sound settings go to search type in sound select sound settings okay and double check here that it matches, make sure the speaker out. In my case, it's got to say speak, you know, number 10, like I said, because I'm using that USB uh, sound card. Then you go down here, make sure the microphone, it says that. If one of these are different, it's not going to work. So double check in here if you're having problems. Uh, that's one of the emails I get is it does not work. What am I doing wrong? And then they find out, oh, I had this one set to something different. Uh, another one I get with emails is that I don't, I can't hear it. Well, they don't have the volume on the radio up high enough, or they don't have the volume on the computer down here high enough. So always start halfway at the very minimum. You can tweak it later. So that's how you get any repeater online or hooked to a computer. If you, you know, just in general, this is how you do it can be an old old three-year-old uh, repeater. It does not matter. So if you have any questions or comments, please post them down below and please subscribe. Thank you and have a good day.